everybody, welcome to Crafty Becky Tutorials. I'm Crafty Becky, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to be making a kid's chore chart. Kids' chore charts get 25,000 monthly searches on Etsy alone, and they rank very high in Google Trends, as we will see. And make sure to hit subscribe to be a part of the Crafty family. If you're already a Crafty family member, give yourself a big hug from me. Okay, well, let's get started. So this is my search tool called Self Samurai and an editable chore chart is getting 25,000 search volume and a very high click through rate and a chore chart printable is 4,000 search volume and a chore chart for kids printable is, is 4,000 chore chart for kids so this is a very high item that people are looking for and the, the most trending like on Google Trends chore charts have a 27 thousand search volume and a chore list chart you know look how high all this is going like people are really looking for kids chore charts so let's go ahead and make one in, in canva so i'm going to pull out canva here and i had made a new design using this portrait and here it is right here and we got our chore chart and i made sure to go to view settings and i did show rules and guides and show margins so now we're going to go to um, elements and we're going to scroll down and then we're going to go to tables and we're going to click the table here and we want to have like 10 chores or so one two three four four five six seven eight nine ten like 10 chores will be good we might need need more to fill the page out. Let's um add some more. Yeah, I probably don't need any more. It's probably good. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten chores, and then we need, we want five days of the week. So add a column. Like these can be weekly chores. Maybe on the weekends the kids just don't do any chores. Let's select. Let's um make it smaller because they're just gonna do check boxes if they did the chores we could always add some more columns add some like 12 columns in case they want to do more I mean let's add 12 rows at least 12 rows then we're gonna go here Go to size columns equally. Size. And size rows equally. And then get our text. We're going to add a heading. Call it chore chart. And let's add a line. So let's go to elements and then a line so that they can put their name. So I can edit the chore chart. Apostrophe S. So that's their, the chore chart. And then let's go ahead and put blanks. They can write each chore. And I'm holding down shift. 
and holding alt. And then holding alt again. Okay, and there's the the blanks. So this will be a blank one, and then we could also do one. So move this up, and then we got to put the days of the week. So let's grab this and do Monday. And let's zoom in. This is Tuesday. This is Wednesday. This is Wednesday. This is Thursday again. And then we can put Friday. And we can change the text if you want a different text here. So this would be one that can fill in the blank. Then you can do another one where you could like suggest the chores. Like if they don't know what kind of chores they might, they don't, if they don't know what kind of chores their kid might do, you might want to suggest suggest some chores. What font was this? This was Anton, so let's make it so it's the same. And then maybe clean room. And what else do I have Brian do? Brian's my son, he's seven years old. So you know, put put out put out the clothes that you're gonna wear the next day. Like that's probably a good chore to do. Do do your own laundry because Brian does his own laundry. And then empty this washer. I can make that smaller. Weed the garden. Feed pets, like that would be a good one. Feed the pets. So it's really important for children to do chores. Because if you don't have your child do chores, you know, they just they just don't really see the value. And also we they just don't see the value of work. And we give Brian like an allowance if he does his chores. So we give him seven dollars if he does his chores for the week. So he gets to earn money. He gets to see see the value of money, and it's really important for kids to know the value of money when they're young, and know that that you have to work to get money. And what else you can think of? Like let's look, let's consult Chat GPT because they might give us some more ideas. And what what are some some chores a seven year old child might do? So 
So hey, this is chat GPT, and if you don't know, oh yeah, make the bed, that's good. Setting and clearing the table, putting away toys, like we already did this with clean the room. Yeah, watering plants, feeding pets. Now let's put, um, let's go back and let's put watering, water plants. Look, dusting, like that would be an easy job too, dusting. So this one will be already filled out. Now we can go um, Brian's. Okay, that'll get some more room for the heading up here. So what else? There's um, collecting mail, the mail. I don't know, I wouldn't feel safe to him to go outside in front of the house and get the mail because that, you know, there's a lot of kids that get kidnapped because they're in front of their house like that. Remember the, the UPS driver that kidnapped this one kid? Like, that was just so sad. So I wouldn't want him to go outside unsupervised. Yeah, dusting is a good one. And then, uh, oh yeah, recycling. Like, he can help with the recycling we do. So we, make, we make sure to recycle my husband is addicted to Mountain Dew and there's always cans of Mountain Dew like everywhere like he just loves Mountain Dew adjusting the meal prep sorting and recycling collecting mail emptying oh yeah empty on waste baskets Trash. And also may make the bed. That's probably a good one because um, that's always good to make the bed. Okay, so this is the chore chart. And we can go ahead and like decorate it. And so we can go to um, effects and we could change the color. Like you can do a, a splice, an outline. And lift it. So it's hard to see because it's black. You can do a shadow, like a glitch. We can change the color. We click that and we can put what color. Brian's favorite color is orange. Like he just loves orange. So we'll make his chore chart orange colored. And then we'll select all the text and we'll make that orange too. And we can go to effects and we can go to shadow. And we could uh, lift it like a darker orange, you know, if we wanted. We can do like a hollow. There's like a glitch, a neon, an outline, a splice. And the splice looks pretty cool. And there's a lift. So it looks like it's lifted off the page and there's a shadow. And if you don't want, you can just have none. Like a simple chore chart. And there's one that's blank too. And we can like fix this one too. We can move it down a little bit to give it, there's more space at the top for the heading. You can also decorate it like Brian really likes Halloween. So I'm going to do like, I'm going to look for Halloween graphics.
And then we see there's like spider web. I'm holding down the arrow to get it out of there so I can select it easier. Yeah, but this doesn't look very good. Let's see, there's another one. But that one's nicer. And we could um, go and flip vertical and horizontal so we can get the other corner. And we can go and go to position. This can do this position to back. And there's some bats. This is the rotating tool. Okay, so as you can see, it's really easy to make a chore chart for kids. Well, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe to be part of the Crafty family. Well, have a great day. Goodbye!